Okay, so this is going to be a follow-up video on some gold that I got from a vendor. And I'm very confused with it because it looks like gold. But it doesn't look like gold. Where did I do the scratch test? There it is. The other day, I did an acid test on this gold. This gold right here. I'm going to lay it down and show it to you. This gold right here, I did an acid test on. And I didn't even start with 24 karat. I went straight to 10 karat acid test. When you do an acid test, if you don't know, you take the gold and you scratch it against a pad. And what it does is it leaves the metal on that pad and then you take a drop of acid drop it on there very simple if it disappears that means it's not the carrot is less than that let's say that so if you did 24 carat and it disappeared then you know it's less than 24 carat if you take the 18 carat acid drop it on that scratch it disappears then it's less than 18 so on and so forth obviously if you put it on there and it doesn't disappear that's the purity in that ballpark so i just went ahead the lowest that i have is 10 carat put it on there it immediately disappeared so this stuff right here is what i'm talking about this is the stuff i'm looking at it looks like gold the problem with it is i've compared it to my other gold and it looked more like copper than it did gold so i'm going back and looking at it it failed the acid test it's less than 10 carat but that doesn't mean that it's not gold what i'm wondering is was this i don't even want to say painted was it plated was it dipped in gold that's the question and again i'm not saying this isn't gold what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this downstairs and i'm going to rub it against that pad again and then i'm going to bring it back up here and i'm going to look at it again because i did the edge but i did not do like a flat surface where I can look at it. So I'm going to take this flat piece of gold right here. And the reason why I'm making such a big deal out of this is because it looks like it was intentional. Because if I scratch this and this whole side turns silver or whatever, then that was intentional. And that needs to be flagged. Copper acts a lot like gold as far as malleable. This is a piece of copper right here. If you put them side by side... You can see the difference. That looks like gold. So I'm going to take this downstairs, this one right here, and I'm going to scratch the crap out of it. And I want to see what it turns out to be. So I'll be right back. The audio is going to sound pretty crappy, but I want to do this with my phone because I think this will give me my best resolution as far as the video. All right, so this is what I got. I got a piece of gold, piece of copper, and this nugget that I that's in question. So I'm going to scratch all three right here. And I can't do it while I'm holding the phone, but we'll do the gold on top, the copper in the middle, and then we'll do this questionable one at the bottom. It'll be down here. And I will get that. I'll, I'll do it on this side where there is no gold or anything. That was a previous scratch. That's actually the scratch from that gold right there. That alleged gold. So it'll be gold, copper, and then well, gold up here, copper, and then that little piece of gold. So they're kind of hard to see. But there's the gold. There's the scratch for the gold. There's the copper. That one did made a better mark. And there is the piece in question right there. Notice how close it looks to the copper. Alright, so let's take the 10 karat acid. And we're going to put it on each one. We're going to put it on the gold, copper, alleged gold. Now, there they are. Now, we want to wipe it off. It's hard to do this in holding the phone. So, after letting the acid set on all three, we'll zoom in. The gold's still there. So we know that's real gold because that scratch didn't disappear. See where the gold still is? Now look at the copper where I dropped the acid. Disappeared. Now there is the third one, which is supposed to be the gold. Disappeared, disappeared gold still there so 
There's my gold piece, there's the copper piece, and there's the piece that I just scratched. Completely and totally disappeared, just like the copper did. But look how close it looks to the copper. The gold's yellow, and I don't think my phone can do it justice because, you know, phones kind of, the light's a little bit different. But the middle scratch is a piece of copper, and the bottom scratch is supposed to be gold. The top scratch is gold. That doesn't even look like gold. That looks like copper. So we're going to take this one. I'm going to scratch it a little bit more. Talking about this one. I'm going to scratch it some more and see if I can rub some of that surface off. And see if maybe it exposes something else besides gold. But look at the difference between that nugget and this. And then that nugget and gold. And that's a dirty piece of gold too. That's not even a clean piece. Okay, I wanted to scratch that small piece of gold right there that alleged gold on here one more time because i was trying to rub any if there was like a possibility of it being plated i wanted to rub the surface off as much as i could but since i did that on this block right here i went ahead and put some of that 10 carat acid again on it yeah I totally took that out these marks right here were from previous testing i did that's why i did it on this side because this side was a lot cleaner that's very questionable right there you saw what i just did with the test completely disappeared and the mark looked just like it was copper now this is the part that i just shaved off what do we see what what do you see right here and tell me because i don't want to jump to any conclusions but does that look like gold my answer is no, it does not look like gold. It looks like copper. Gold does not change colors when you scratch it. Gold stays gold because gold is gold. I find this very, very interesting. Here's the other side. You see the gold right there on the top, but then you see where I rubbed it. Let's look at a piece of copper again. So this is a copper nugget right here. This is that piece of gold. Let's see it again. Copper. See how it changed colors real fast? Gold. Copper. Gold. When you hit the copper, it starts a specific color, but the light makes it change. Which is very weird. See right there, it looks just like a nugget. This The light for this, let me turn the light down. Maybe that's what it is. There's too much light getting to it. Let's look at this one again. Huh. Yeah, you let me know in the comments what you think, guys. Let me show you a piece of gold that I know that's gold. It's got some quartz in it, but it's a gold nugget. Let's zoom out on it. Now look at that gold. I mean, that shit's yellow thick and through, up and down, yellow everywhere. Then you got this. These are the nuggets from that other pay dirt. Here's another one. I know I'm spending a lot of time on this, but there's a good reason. Because I don't want to say anything that's not true that's after i scratched it so i'm just going to stay on my computer and talk to you about this this was premium prospect this was the company i got this excuse me that half a gram of gold those pickers whatever you want to call them i just did a scratch test it failed the 10 carat and you saw what it looked like when i scratched it off i'll let you be the judge of it I'm not an expert. I'm lear I've told you guys this a billion times. I I'm, I'm learning as I go. But I have used gold nuggets, gold pickers on that acid test. I've scratched it, and it still looked like gold. Might have looked scratched, but it was still gold. I didn't see a totally different color after I'd scratched a gold picker or whatever I was doing. In my opinion, I think these things were plated. Whatever these are, copper whatever i think that they were dipped and plated in gold and so does gold nuggets gold pickers gold flakes whatever you want to call it 
which is why they're also so big, which is also why they were in a case, which is also why they were in a case glued. The whole thing was very weird to me because I ordered that stuff as a pay dirt. Let me go on eBay. I'm going to look at this stuff and we'll, we'll look at it together. All right, so this is what I purchased right here. Premium Prospect Pay Dirt Concentrates. This is the one I got. Half gram of very nice gold nuggets with authentic pay dirt premium prospect. We stand behind our products. Purchase risk-free money back guarantee free returns. If you experience any problems, please contact me and make it right immediately. Thanks for looking. You will receive one ounce of pay dirt and a half a gram of gold nuggets. All very nice pickers, no super fines. Okay, here's the catch with that. If you buy that pay dirt, and you're not satisfied with it. They're saying that you can send it back. Except when you see the little plastic thing. This is the plastic thing right here. That it was in. It was glued, sealed shut. It also had a metal or a almost like a security tab on it. That says if this is broken. Do not remove security, seal, warranty, invalid. If seal is tampered so again my opinion only but <clears throat> if this is indeed plated nuggets gold plated nuggets the only way you could find that out for sure is if you take this out now if you take it out you lose your money you don't get a refund because you broke the seal you tampered with it so they're going to say okay let's put that on there so nobody can get in there and test these nuggets that would be my suspicions. Is this why this thing's got a tampered seal and it was glued shut? Because they didn't want you opening this stuff up and looking at it. And they didn't want you doing scratch tests or anything. So they figured if they put it in one of these. Because who have you ever seen that does a pay dirt? Puts them in these, these right here. Have you ever seen it? This is the first pay dirt I've ever seen that does it. And why? Why would you sell a pay dirt and sell the pay dirt different? Or separate from the actual goat. That makes no sense. And even the way they word it. You would think it was pay dirt. Because it says one gram plus plus. A very nice gold. I'm looking at this right here. Very nice gold nuggets with authentic pay dirt. Premium prospect. Doesn't say separate from the goat or nothing. It just says with it. This is the one I got. You will receive one ounce of pay dirt. And half a gram of gold nuggets. Why is that, Why are they sending dirt in the first place authentic pay dirt all dirt is authentic i mean <laughs> people are freaking sneaky man that that's everything about this screams bs it just does again they're selling the pay dirt and the gold separate from the pay dirt they seal it in this tell you if you open it and tamper with it you void the warranty or you can't return it <clears throat> if i was doing a scheme like this and I did it this way. My, I guess my thinking would be, well, they're never going to test these nuggets because if they pull it out of this, then they can't get their money back. So what are they going to do? Are they going to look through it in a microscope here where it's plated gold? So all they'll see is gold. They're not going to pull it out and test it and scratch it and do a acid test and all that. I cannot prove to, to anyone that this is not real gold. I can just show you what I saw. I did the acid test. It failed the 10 carat acid test. My actual piece of gold passed the 10 carat acid test. So the only thing I can 100% for sure say is this stuff is not, is less than 10 carat gold. That's the only thing I could say. The only other thing I could say is if you look at what I shaved off and you look beyond the yellow part of the piece of gold, it's not gold anymore. It almost looks copper. So in my opinion, this is a scam. At least this specific one that I got is a scam. I don't know. I'm interested to know if anybody else has gotten something like this. It's the first time I've ever actually did a pay dirt where it looks like somebody's intentionally selling bogus gold. Because they're very, they're, it's, this is very elaborate. This is not... Who in the hell tamper seals and, and who puts a half a gram of gold in a in a plastic seal with all of this security tape and stuff on it and who sells pay dirt and keeps the pay dirt separate from the gold and again 
puts it in this. It makes no sense. So when I did my initial review and I looked at it, my first take was, yeah, it's gold because it looks like gold. It has that gold color. It doesn't look as gold as the other gold that I've panned, but yeah, it's got that gold color to it. So why else would they put it in one of these? I have to say, if it wasn't for one of my, I don't know if he subscribes, but whoever watched that video, he asked me if I could verify that that was good gold because he was thinking about buying it. And then he actually asked me if I could test the gold to see if it was real. I decided to test it because it, like I said in my, my original video, it kind of looked a little coppery to me. It didn't look like gold gold. It looked more like copper than it did gold when I looked at it under the microscope. Yeah, he asked me if I could test it and I do have acid tests down in the garage and I did. And, you know, I can at least say it's less than 10 carat. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think this is a scam? Have you bought from this before? Is this just a fluke? Did I just happen to get some weird gold? I, I hope I'm not that stupid. I'm new at the gold game. I will be the first to admit that. And I don't know everything about this kind of stuff. But this looks very suspicious to me. And just let me know what you think. Let me know if you think I'm being, if I'm being like ridiculous when it comes to this. Or do I have a valid argument that I, this could possibly be somebody trying to pass off some something that's not gold as gold. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye.